Kit Harrington, Jon Snow, thank you for joining the Throne cast. Thank you for having me. Um, now, a cold upbringing from yeah. the name uh, right through to kind of time in Winterfell, uh, time on the wall, now heading into the wild north. Um, do you feel that coldness is part of the character? I think it, it has to be. Inevitably it is now. Um, I don't know, I think he's got a draw to the north. You know, I think he always said, I'm a, you know, I'm of the north. I'm, and, and he sees himself as a Stark and part of his, you know, and, and very much his father's son. So I, I think he always wanted to go north to Night's Watch and I think that's, that's where he ends up going. For me as an actor, it's um, not the most pleasant environment <laughs> to go to. I was going to ask because you had to spend a lot of time in Iceland. And Iceland was beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely stunning. Like, and that's the only thing that made up for the minus 35 temperatures that we had to endure. But it was incredible, incredible place. In minus 35, this is a bit geeky, uh, mm. doesn't all the equipment freeze? Yeah, I don't know how they... I do, to be honest, it's a miracle we, we managed to get the whole thing done. <laughs> it was... Uh, people... And I've said this a few times, but people's... We had these Icelandic guys helping us out, and they had these beards that would literally freeze into blocks of ice that you could tap. And it was that cold. Um, but uh, I, I shouldn't talk about the cold, because the, what we got shots-wise and what we got... Um, what we got filmed was, was just stunningly beautiful. So it's well, help you in character, I suppose, as well. You're yeah, supposed to be cold. Exactly. So. I mean, yeah. it, do, it does inform, <laughs> inform acting. So, yeah, yeah it's, I, I, as cold as I was, I couldn't complain. It was great to be there. This journey for John, it's, it's much more about just travelling mm -hmm. um, for him. Can you sort of describe some of the experiences to come in the series for him? Or, yeah, without I, giving too much away. No, I think <laughs> it's, uh, it's the season that I was looking forward to, actually. Um, when I read the books, you know, the season one I was just looking forward to because it was season one, but season two was the bit where John goes out into the real world, as it were. You know, he's, he's been, in season one, he, he's constantly caught between a rock and a hard place in that he doesn't know what to do, whether to stay at the wall, whether to go and join his brother. I mean, he's, he's in a constant flux of angst, you know, and, and he's in training yards. He's in Winterfell's training yard or he's in the training yard at the wall never really sees any action. Season two, he's, he's in the real world. He's beyond the wall and he's made his decision and it's clear and he's, he's left all of, all of that angst behind him. So it's, um, it's the bit I was really looking forward to. When you said about reading the books, do they help you? Because you get mm. so much from, from George R. R. Mm. Martin in terms of character depth. Mm -hmm. it, do you find that a help or a hindrance having read the books? I, I love reading the books. I, I, with any part that I get offered, if there's something behind it that I should, that I feel I should re read, if it's going to inform my character, then I will. And, uh, and then you can chop and choose which bits you take and, and chop and choose so that you stay true to the character that people know and love in the book, but also that you're bring, bringing your own thing to life in, in the series and making it yours. So I do read the books and I still refer back to them if I need to remember something about John or kind of reiterate sort of who he is because sometimes you can drift away from what the character in the book is. Yeah, because the relationship actually, sort of definitely the best buddy relationship mm -hmm. in all of it is between you and Sam. Yeah. Um, and that's built more than the book, isn't it, in the series? Yeah, I, well, I think, it's, I think it's just a slightly different version of the relationship in, in the book. Um, me and John have worked on, on making it similar and also making it our own and David and Dan have written to kind of work around that relationship and I think in the books it, John's I mean John Bradley's character Sam Wells a, a, a coward and and Jon Snow looks after him but John um, Sam's intelligent you know intelligent and looks after John in his own way we've kind of buddied that up slightly so it, it there's a there's a more humorous element to it and they yeah. sort of they riff with each other a bit. But yeah, the basics, the skeleton of who they are in the books is there. The other, obviously, close relationship, and I've, I'm sure you've been asked a million times, mm. but we need to know, uh, is, is with Ghost. Yeah. Um, is, is it a dog? Is it CGI? Is it a mixture of the two? Or? It's, um, it was a dog in the first season. Yes. Um, and it's CGI Cookie. in the second. Cookie, the dog. No, or? Cooper. Cooper. Cooper, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, and it's CGI in the second because they're bigger. Uh, okay. And um, I've just seen the first two episodes, and I've just seen Ghost for the first time, and because I obviously didn't oh, have yeah. the dog there. In the, in How the is that when you're acting? And they brought on this massive stuffed wolf, like <laughs> it, 
And it was ridiculous. And I was just like, I can't, I just can't with that next to me. I'm sorry. It's really distracting. I think I'd rather have nothing. I'd have nothing. I'd have nothing. Literally a ghost. I don't want anything. Um, and yeah, but it, I just seen him in the, in the episode and he's, he's incredible. Yeah, really, really cool. I want him as that now, yeah. but you know, you can't. It's funny because when you watch the credits go up, there's a wolf unit, and I was thinking they can't yeah. actually be acting with real wolves. That no, be. they were they were husky dogs in yeah. the first in the first season, um, uh, and they could they could be tiresome. Yes, at times. Children and animals. Children and animals. Doing those? But the children were brilliant. Yeah, the they're themselves. fantastic. <laughs> um, now the fans mm -hmm. are a notoriously hard bunch to please. How's the reaction been to your portrayal of Jon Snow? I've found you know I was expecting fan dis, you know dissatisfaction people coming up and saying nasty things as well as nice things yeah i've not had one bad comment uh anyone who comes up to you on the street is always really enthusiastic really lovely i love the show i love the character and that's just i mean it's always really nice to hear you know that people are enjoying it and and especially when fans of the books uh who have a preconceived idea of yes. how the character should be say that they enjoy what you've done with it. It's um, it's really, you know, very kind of flattering. It's really nice. Have you been to any of the sort of fan conventions, Comic-Con mm -hmm. or...? I've been to Comic-Con. How was it? Crazy. Scary. It was crazy. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to go back. It was, um, it was, it was really mental. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're walking out onto a stage and there's, like, there's 6,000 people screaming and there's another... 5,000 who can't get in or something, you know. It, to, it's where you meet the sort of fan base one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, and you realise how passionate they are. Absolutely. And, and, and it's nice, because I'm a fan myself now, you know, of, of the books and of the series, and so it's kind of a shared experience, I think. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, finally, mm -hmm. uh, again, without giving too much away, yeah. is there one particular scene that's a favourite of yours from season two that we can look forward to? Yeah, there's. I mean, there's there's a couple of uh, fights that I really enjoyed doing. Um, and that's all I'll say because I don't want to say who they're with or anything. Yeah. Kit Harrington, John Snow, thank you for coming to Thronecast. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.